The Ernest Becker Foundation was formed in 1993 by a recently retired physician named Dr. Neil LG. Like most people who um, are involved with our organization, when Dr. LG came across reading Becker, it really just changed his whole framework of thinking and inspired him, including, as you say, to maybe deal with our awareness of our mortality and how much we talk about or engage in the subject of death. You said it's a dark topic, and I do think in our society it's thought of that way, but if we could sort of shift that to um, just being a sort of natural topic, a, something real, that would be, I think, probably a healthy step in the right direction. Um, most of what we do is along the lines of public education. Over the years, we've um, published a lot of materials, held, um, held events and programs. We've supported different types of science and arts projects related to Becker. Um, currently, we're really focusing our efforts on trying to benefit the current political and social dynamic in this country by helping people think about how to apply Becker's work, whether to their own personal lives or to cause-based things they're working on. So, for example, I published an op-ed in the Seattle Times last weekend on death anxiety and police culture because I've worked in police accountability a lot. So that's, um, that's an example. We're doing a presentation in the near future to an uh, um, organization concerned with gun safety to see how we can help. We're trying to think about where people are working on causes where the very topic itself is a reminder of mortality, such as gun violence or death penalty or something like that. You know, how do people overcome these issues? So. The Ernest Becker Foundation um, deals with all these topics. We put out newsletters. We hope people sign up on our website for our monthly e-blasts. Now, to get into Becker and what exactly it is we're spreading, um, Ernest Becker wrote a number of books. His most well-known one won the Pulitzer Prize. It's called The Denial of Death. Becker died just a few months at age 49 before he won the Pulitzer Prize. But in The Denial of Death, he creates a theory that basically the uniquely human awareness of our mortality is a primary motivator of our behavior, both on the individual level and the societal level. For example, he points to religion and culture as being things that humans have created to help ease our anxiety associated with the awareness of our mortality. Um, as far as we know, other animals are not contemplating their mortality. They, of course, have um, natural human instincts, I mean, natural animal instincts to preserve their lives, but they're not like we are, you know, contemplating after we die what it'll be like and what'll be left behind and all that stuff. So Becker kind of saw our awareness of mortality as, as this invisible hand guiding us, whether guiding the culture that creates markers for which we can um, feel success or belonging and, and feel a part of the culture, as well as our individual uh, life choices, whether it's our careers, having children, creating a podcast, writing a book. What Becker would call these is immortality projects. What are we going to leave behind? Because ultimately, the fear of death isn't so much of death itself, but it's a fear of life without meaning. And so we have a drive to create something to leave behind in our, in our absence after that. So I would suggest for those people just kind of entering this realm and thinking about this, obviously our website has a lot of material, but the book we recommend people start with is not The Denial of Death, but rather The Birth and Death of Meaning, which is, uh, we think, a really good entry point on Becker's work. And um, also there's a film, a documentary called Flight from Death, which I think is available on YouTube. And that's something else we really encourage you to look at because that really tackles what happened after the publication of Becker's work and after he died, which was the formation of a new type of science called terror management theory, which I'll let um, Lila talk a little bit about if you want. Um, but um, Becker's life, Becker's work has had a, a new life going from sort of a humanities realm to a science realm. So that was what